morning. <sighs> oh, hello there, good sir. What brings you to the meadow this morning? Breakfast. Breakfast? Yes. Why, I was just standing here enjoying the sunrise and thinking the exact same thing myself. It is about time for breakfast, isn't it? Yes. Well, I'd invite you over to my house, but it's nothing much. Just a simple place. I even built it myself from nothing but straw. A house made of straw? Oh yes, some might call it quaint, but I call it home. Well in that case, little pig, little pig, let me in. Oh no, there's no need to bother going home for breakfast. In fact, I was thinking a picnic right here in the meadow sounds nice, don't you think? <laughs> a picnic here in the meadow. Yes, I was thinking a nice bit of sock would make for a fine breakfast. Wait, what? We should just have a picnic right here. Oh, okay, sure. Am I a fool? Or is this a little too easy? Breakfast here in the meadow sounds perfect. Excellent. What sounds good to you? Bacon! Oh, oh, oh well, that's not exactly <sighs> what I had in mind. Sausage! This breakfast menu of yours, it sounds good. Great! Bacon, ham and sausage, you say? Yes! Yum! Yes? Wouldn't that be nice on this lovely morning? Yes! I know just the place for such a meal, and it's right this way. All the bacon and ham and sausage you could ever dream of. Follow me. You know, there just so happens to be a lot of little piggies that live here in the meadow. Is that so? 33 at last count. Thirty-three? Oh yes, lots of little piggies. And it's right here in this meadow. Yep, it's like our own little pig commune. Or, or as you might call it, a pig buffet. All the bacon and ham and sausage you could ever dream of. And it's right here for the taking. Oh yes, it's a total pig stuck here in the meadow. And if you go just a little further in that direction, you'll find porkish delights to make all your wildest wolfy dreams come true. Then what are you waiting for, big guy? Go and get it. That was way too close. Much too close. Okay, so here's the deal. In case you didn't realize, that was a big bad wolf. And he's clearly here to trick us little pigs into eating us for dinner. I must go and warn the others. It was early in the morning when his shirt first showed his face. You know that time of day when the sun is rising, the damp fog and night still lingers? I was hot in another case, a pearl snatching case for some swine, if you know what I mean. Anyway, child gone cold when? Where's the buffet I was promised? When he walked into my life. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in! That's right, it was a big, Bad wolf and was on to him from the start. I knew his game, except for one thing and one thing only to find and devour us. So naturally, I just played it cool. I was undercover, so I knew I better not draw attention to myself. You see, that's how it's done this business. I suspected something fishy was going on from the start, but I was stuck between a rock and a hard place. I could either stick with my current case or I could find out more about this big bad wolf. On the loose. Here, Piggy, P. 
piggy. Here, yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. You know, I'm starting to think that there aren't any pi- what, what was that? Never mind, where was I? Yes, yes. I'm starting to think that the pig in the straw had lied to me. Where's the bacon? Where's the ham? Where's the- Did anyone else feel that rush of air? Must have been a morning breeze, I guess. Uh, any, anyway, I'm starving. And I haven't had a decent meal in... I can't even remember. And like a fool, I believed that pig. Where's the piggy banquet? Where's my breakfast? Oh, I think I see what's going on here. But that can't be a pig. They aren't that fast. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that's so. Well, you haven't met me then, have you? And who are you? They call me Speedy. I'm the fastest pig in the meadow. Wanna race? No. Come on, bet you I can beat you to that fence post. Hard pass. What you worried about? Scared I will win? No! I'm just not interested. Let's try to play a different sort of game. After all, I do like playing with my food. Oh, I like games. Tag, you're it. Well, it so happens that I also enjoy fast food. I was wrong. Not all pigs are slow. Oh, hello there. Just a minute. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. Just a little out of breath. But aren't you the big bad wolf? I am. Oh, I've heard of you. Aren't you supposed to be full of hot air? Ha ha, you can crack your jokes. But I haven't been this short of breath lately. Have you seen how fast that pig is? I am. 
Not if I can help it. He thinks he'll beat me, but he won't. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, hi there. Have you by any chance seen a really fast big run by here just now? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. That was Speedy, the fastest pig in the meadow. We're having a race right now. And I'm going to beat him. I am. Okay, okay. But which way did he go? He went that way. Awesome! Thanks! Wait a minute. Why waste my time catching a fast pig when I could just catch a slow pig? Did you need something else? Yes! Yes, indeed. And what might that be? Breakfast! Oh, I'm gonna... Slow and steady, steady as she goes. Steady as she goes, me hearties. Steady now. Ahoy, you there, chop the anchor, matey. We lie low here for a Tonight, we have several reports coming in of the big bad wolf on the prowl in the meadow. Here with us to give us a first hand account is Farmer Pig. Well, I've seen some wolves in my time, that much is true, but I can't say I saw this particular wolf firsthand, so to speak. So, are you saying you lied about the big bad wolf being out here on the prowl? No, nah, that's true enough. I heard all about it from a cousin of mine who came running up in a tizzy and tell me about this big bad wolf that's a-huffin' and a-puffin' out here in the meadow. Meadow, you mean? 
Yeah, that's what I said. The meta. Now, y'all heard of the pig who built his house out of straw, ain't you? Yes. Well, he's my cousin. Actually, he's my second cousin once removed, if we're telling it straight. Anyway, that's where I heard it from. And the way I'm told, this big bad wolf comes roaring and all huffing and a puffing. Can you tell us what he sounded like exactly? Land shakes! I heard he sounded like a dang tornado, a dog on a freight train. Choo choo! Chugga 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 choo choo! And there you have it, folks. The big bad wolf huffs and puffs and sounds like a tornado on a freight train. We'll bring you more breaking news as it happens, but for now, back to the studio. There's a big bad wolf on the loose. Oh, I ain't a scared of no wolf. Well, you might be if he blows down that stick house of yours. That's never gonna happen, brother. Oh, how can you be so sure? My house is indestructible. Well, you better hope so. It is. Oh my. Did you feel that? That tiny breeze? Right. There it is again. What's got you so... Oh, I know why you're worried. I know what you're thinking. But my house is perfectly fine. No little breeze is gonna... <gasps> go to go! I tried to tell her. I mean, I've seen some things in my day. I've dealt with a kid named Peter. That did not go well for me. And you've all heard about the boy who cried wolf. That was a fun story. I like to think I was the hero in that one. All I'm saying is that I've seen some things in my day, but nothing, and I mean nothing, could have prepared me for this. One, two, maybe even three pigs I could have handled. But 33 of them? I mean, what's the catch? It feels like I'm the big bad guy in every story, and nothing's ever gonna change. What's a big bad wolf supposed to do? Excuse me. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes. I'm just a wolf standing in front of the camera, asking it to love me. Man, I do need to get some food in my stomach. I don't think that's my stomach. Gossip true? Are you two a couple? P 
Possibly, but I'm not one to kiss and tell. You were also recently seen cavorting at a Hollywood party with a famous TV star. Would that be John Hamm, star of the hit show, Mad Pigs? We're just old friends, and what exactly do you mean by cavorting? Who even talks like that? Are you two an item, Miss McOink? Of course not. Like I said, we're just good friends. And even if we were, we'll give a casual romance. How's that anyone else's business but ours? Inquiring minds want to know, man. Well, inquiring minds should worry more about themselves and keep their piggy snout out of other people's business. And don't call me man. Shirley, Shirley. Don't you want to ask me about some of my philanthropic work? Not really. Perhaps your audience is interested in hearing about some of my independence forms. Nah. I'm up for a hammy this year. You haven't asked one thing about that. Right. But we'd rather know about your ongoing feud with Taylor Swine. Can you give us any dirt? That's it. I've had enough of this mockery. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're... you're I am a respected star of the stage and screen, the one and only Shirley McOink, and I insist on being taken seriously. This interview is over. <laughs> Celebrities right? Oh, brr, that breeze, it chills to the bone. I know such wind. It brings only misery and bad fortune. Yes, yes, winter's coming. Come no closer, state your name. Uh, uh, state your name. I'm the big bad wolf. Very well, I am Ned Pork of the House of Pork. What brings you to the north? Well, well there was this fast pig and, and a dinosaur pig and... Who do you serve and what do you want with the pigs of the north? Well, uh, I'm just hungry and a bit lost. I have no food to spare, but I can show you the way back to the road. That way, thanks. Hey, but take heed, wolf. Winter's coming, and you never know what might be waiting in the meadows. Safe travels, wolf. Wait a second. D did I just let another pig for me? And a pig in a blanket, no less. A pig in a blanket. Yum. <laughs> Yes, winter's coming. Oh, hi there. Bonjour, mon ami. Is this the way to the road? Pardon moi, no parler lupin. I'm trying to find the road. You see, there's this crazy pig with a sword and he's chasing me and... No, no, no. No parler lupin, tu parler français. No, I don't speak French. Uh, how am I going to put this? I need to find the road. Ah, oui, oui. Yeah, no. I am looking for the road. Ah, la codesse? No, I'm trying to get to the road. Ah, oui, oui. Yes. Ah. Yes. La ruta. Pourquoi? Pour what? No, pourquoi? Why, why? Oui, oui. Why? Because I need to get back to the road so I can get to the meadow and devour some pigs! Ah, uh, no bueno. Wait, are you speaking Spanish now? Adios, niños. Ah, did I just let another pig outsmart me? Pourquoi, pourquoi? Oui, oui! I should have known! Thinking. Roast the beef? Right? The 
pigs even eat meat? And the answer to that is, of course they don't. You make funny jokes, yes? Okay, no more joking. Today we are making a very special family recipe. A meal that goes back many generations. Today we are making Mamba Piggy's very famous slop, Parmigiano. So let's get right to it. First, when making the slop, Parmigiano, you must have the slop. Now any old slop will do for this recipe. So let's see what we have here in our bucket today. Bravo! An apple core? Some meronites? And mama mia! A banana peel! It's our lucky day! Some kidney beans? And some leftover oatmeal. You know, I remember when mama used to make this for us when we were just a wee little piggies back in Sicily. She always used to say, don't grind the slop too much! And mama was always right, of course. When you grind the slop, just <coughs> right. Now once we have the slop all ground up, we'll make them into patties. Just like so. Perfecto. Now, time for some marinara. And now we can sprinkle some freshly grated Parmigiana. You can never have too much cheese! Into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. And bada boom bada bing! And there you have it! Mama Piggy's very famous slop Parmigiano. Bon appetit! when we make our very special slot pizza. Ciao! What is that delicious smell? Another pig, perhaps? Just let another one get away from me. It's okay, Wolfie. There's 33 pigs in this meadow. You'll get one yet. This is the final boarding call for passengers Franklin and Vienna Sausage for flight 144 to Pensacola. That was weird. Franklin and Vienna Sausage, please proceed to gate 16 immediately. Maybe if I just wait around here, a pig will just walk right up to me. Come on, Vienna, darling, we're going to be late. I'm hurrying, Frank, I'm hurrying. Well, not fast enough. Haven't you heard the announcement? Last call for passengers Franklin and Vienna Sausage. The doors will be closing see? in one minute. I know, I know. Can't you see? I'm going as fast as I can. Seriously, Frank Sausage, I love you. Sometimes you can just be the best. Hello No time to stop and chat. We have a plane to catch. A plane? Yes, we're flying to go visit Frank's mother, Pat. Patty's sausage of the Pensacola sausages. She lives right on the beach. Oh, I just can't wait for the sunshine and wet sand. I can picture myself rolling in it right now. That's not going to happen if we don't catch this plane. But since when do pigs fly? Since never if we don't catch this plane. Let's go. No, wait, I want to tell you about some timeshares I'm selling. Oh, they're gone. I'm actually quite hungry. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're not offering any meals to us in your flight today. But I can offer you some pretzels. No thanks. Peanuts? No, definitely not. Pretzels, peanuts, pretzels, peanuts, peanuts, pretzels? No, get the peanuts away from me. I'm allergic. Uh, do, do you have an epi No, but I have pretzels and peanuts. Uh, help! Emergency! In the event of emergency, such as 
loss in cabin pressure, oxygen mask will appear in front of you. Please put on your own oxygen mask before assisting piglets, piglets or those around you. Just, I just need a glass of water. In the event of a water landing, your sea cushion may be used as a flotation device. <laughs> just get me out of here. Emergency exits are located in the front, back and center of the aircraft. <laughs> Typical, no one ever listens to a pre-flight safety speech. these pearls so much stained the other day and there's this detector that's been uh, uh sorry gotta go <gasps> so you see i've been trying to track down the big bad wolf but the trail's gone cold I'm seen high no herbs, chinny chin chin. I've looked all over this meadow for except behind this tree. So I suppose you've seen them lately, have you? Behind this tree, you say? Nah, no wolf there. Just a plain old pine tree. Oh, hello there. I've got a race to win. Okay then. Well, I haven't given up yet. Am I either going to find this wolf or I'm going to find that swine that snatched the pearls on the piggy galore? But a pine needle's left of the scene of the crime. So I, I, I suspect his hideouts in the forest nearby. The paper's been calling him the... the... The porcupine bandit, get it? Porcupine. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was a stretch too, but the people will do anything for a good headline nowadays. You almost gave me away then. Not sure I should be trusting you. I need to find a way to escape. As you can see, the detective is often for stealing those pearls. I'm a wanted pig. Uh-oh, and here comes more trouble. <sighs> oh, okay. Now it's time to get serious. I'm sure there's a pig around here somewhere. It sure smells like it. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. I know you're hiding here somewhere. Come out, wherever you are. I smell a pig. Oh, is that so? What? Think you've been funny to your laddie? I didn't see you there, officer. Sure you didn't. But I heard you loud and clear. Think you smell a pig, do you? That's not what I meant, sir. What a bunch of malarkey. Think you're some kind of comedian, do you? No, sir. How about I take you down town and you can tell it to the magistrate? Hope you got the luck of the Irish, sonny boy. Because we're going to see how funny she thinks you are. No thanks. Hey! <whistles> wolf! Wolf in the middle! Phew, that was a close one. Extra, extra! Porcupine banner remains at large, read all about it. Get your paper here. Fast pig and slow pig race to the finish. Three little pigs can be new home construction. Read all about the upcoming ribbon cutting ceremonies right here in the evening swamp. Danger, big bad wolf lurks in meadow. Be on the lookout, all details in the evening swamp. Extra, extra! Read all about it! This wolf is gonna be trouble for us all. Meh, I still say he's full of hot air. What do you say, sister? Yes, yes, this is a perfect spot for my new mech no, no. About the wolf. Meh, I have more important things to worry about. Don't you care, like, at all? Not in the least. I've built a good strong house out of good 
mortar, and there's no way any wolf's getting in. Why? Are you worried about your house? Of course not. I have a fine house. Me too. Actually, your house recently collapsed in that little breeze, if I remember correctly. It's fine. I put it back together. It's perfectly safe. It just needs a little TLC sometimes. That's all. Then what's the problem? There's a big bad wolf at large. You're a big bad wolf. Sorry, not my problem. <laughs> about that wolf tour? It's bad news all right. Bad, bad news. Lucky for me, I saw all this coming long ago and I'm prepared. All them other things up there thought I was a fool for building this underground bunker. But who's having the last laugh now, huh? Them other things up there, they don't know. I've been preparing for the dark times like these for years. And I'll be safe down here while the rest of them are in grave danger. See, I've got three years of rations down here in my bunker. Got me some canned corn here. Let's see what else. Some canned grits. Canned slop. And oh, my favourite, canned candy apples. Them other things up there. They've just been eating and sleeping and rolling around in the mud and sun all this time without a worry in the world. I tried to tell them. We've got to be prepared for the worst, folks. Yeah, they make fun of me for preparing for the end of times. But who's laughing now, huh? Sure, they called me a worry ward and a conspiracy theorist. They even called me the Groundhog. That's right, the Groundhog. But I'll tell you what, I'll wear that name like a badge on all right because it means I outsmarted all your faults and planned ahead. I didn't build no house of straw, sticks, nor bricks. Now, nah, all of those are security problems. It's true, even the brick house. Don't believe me? Two words, chimney. That's why I built my home here totally secure, off the grid, off the radar. I am the groundhog and I have nothing to be afraid of down here. Stop! Better stay out of this, man. 
Not a chance, gentlemen. Let's settle this right here now, Wolf. Unless you yell. Try me. Ten paces. You're on. Are you sure you want to be doing this, man? Oh, shut you trap, you old cow poke. I know what I'm doing. Now step back and this a piece of me too. Well, what are you waiting for? Draw. That was a close one. Now where might I find some pigs to eat? Ah! Hello, Wolf. Where do you come from? Ah, uh, good question. Confucius says, the man who asks a question is a fool for a minute, but the man who does not is a fool for life. Uh, I didn't even hear you. How do you do that? Ninjas are silent, but dead. Okay, okay, but seriously, how did you do that? Confucius say, silence is a true friend who never betrays. What? Confucius says, real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Oh, hey now! Ah! Oh, okay, okay. I did not see that coming. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Hey, who's that? Oh, it's sloping! I've made it. I've won. Well done, 
am sloping. You are wise indeed, for it is written, it is no matter how slow you go, as long as you do not stop. Yes! I did it! I won! But I was here first. No, 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 no. You didn't beat me. I'm the fastest pig in the meadow. Not today, fast pig. Well, can't argue with that. I saw it myself. But come while on, you were here, yeah, it's piggyback time. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, ah, 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 ah. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, it is called a mistake. I'll get you, pig! Only the wisest and dumbest never. I've had enough of these pigs! I've had it with these pigs, and I'm going to get one of these 33 little pigs if it's the last thing I do! Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Company, halt! Fall out! Go! Never change. 